The Supertrax is WP's most innovative adjustment on their Pro Line shocks. But why is it so different from a regular clicker adjustment? Stay tuned to find all about it. Before starting to learn how this system works, I strongly recommend you to first take a look at the off-road engineered video that explains how a traditional shock works and how their adjustments affect its performance. This one. The Supertrax system complements the well-known rebound damping adjuster in order to help the shock extend faster. According to WP, the Supertrax allows a faster rebound when it detects that the wheel is not in contact with the ground. The longer the back wheel is in contact with the ground, the more you can brake and the more you can accelerate. But how can it detect that there's no ground contact? Where are the sensors? Just kidding, it's far more simple than it seems. Let's take a look inside. The Supertrack system consists of an adjustable oil flow restrictor on the low speed orifice that will open only when a certain oil pressure is reached. This restrictor is essentially a sleeve with holes that is preloaded by a spring, which in turn is connected to the TXN adjuster. After a deep compression, the spring makes the shock extend. The oil below the main piston is pushed through the low speed orifice, but it is not enough to prevent the oil pressure from rising. The rebound shim stack opens, allowing more oil flow and reducing damping. At this point, the wheel would take a certain time to reach the ground, since it would be limited by the oil flow going through the low speed orifice and rebound shim stack, even if the pressure below the piston increases. This is where the Super Trax shines. At this moment, the oil pressure would increase to a point where it would be high enough to push the sleeve from the low speed orifice, allowing more oil flow, which in turn allows the shock to extend faster. Once the oil pressure decreases, the sleeve blocks the low speed orifice and the rebound shim stack provides the necessary damping to extend controllably. This wouldn't be an off-road engineered video if I wouldn't explain what the adjustments do. However, we shouldn't see the TXN adjuster as a regular clicker adjustment. It is rather an adjustment that can disable the super tracks or enable it according to the adjustment. If the TXN adjuster is fully tightened, the spring will have too much preload to allow the sleeve to be pushed from the low speed orifice. This will disable the super track system and the shock will work as any other shock. The more you loosen the TXN adjuster, the less preload there is on the spring. The sleeve will be displaced sooner and for longer, allowing more oil flow and reducing the time of the extension stroke. This system will help mitigate the packing effect on braking bumps, acceleration bumps and whoops by providing more wheel travel sooner, increasing traction and stability. In some situations, having the TXN adjuster fully open can provide an unwanted springy behavior, destabilizing your riding, so use it with that in mind. And remember, this system is about giving a competitive advantage to the best riders in the business. A few milliseconds of increased traction can mean a few seconds quicker in a special test or on the track. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you want to learn how to take full advantage of your suspension adjustments, take a look at our online courses available on our website. Knowledge is power. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.